In today's video, I'm going to be doing an overview on how I built my miter saw station. I'll be going over the design and construction of how I built the cabinets and the drawers. What up guys, I'm Juan. Thanks for checking in and welcome to my shop. Just wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so if you're interested in woodworking and DIY type videos. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm gonna include a link down below so you can check me out. I do more behind the scenes type uh, post and I post more often on there, so go ahead and check me out. Throughout this video, you'll see me using the Cruiser from Delta, who was a sponsor of this video. This station is actually built specifically to fit this miter saw. This is not my first attempt at a miter saw station and the first one that I made is actually at my brother's house. So let's head over there and I'll show you some of the problems that I had with the initial design with that one. We're here at my old miter saw station and the first thing that sticks out is just how big it is. This thing took up basically a whole wall in my shop. The main reason is because these type of saws have these rails that make you slide back and forward to make your cuts. So I had to make it right at about 30 inches deep. So let's go back to my shop and check out my new station and see what the dimension was there. Okay, so we're back at the shop and as you can see, the cruiser can be pushed up against the wall, which saves up a ton of space in your shop. So that helped me start the design of the miter saw station and I ended up making my cabinets 24 inches deep. So once I knew that I could make the depth 24 inches, I knew I could go on and design the rest of the build. And I did standard size cabinets, which are 24 inches deep by 24 inches wide by 34 and a half inches tall. So once I had those dimensions, I started the next process, which is actually building it. And by the way, I do have free plans on, for this on the Build Something website. So I'll include a link down below so you can check those out. As far as the actual build goes, I do have three videos where I show you all the details. In the first one, I start from the toe kicks. Um, and then from there, I go to the actual assembly of the cabinets. Um, I'll show you how to make the face frames. I'll show you how to make the tops and put the edge banding on there. And then in the second video, I go into how I built the fence, why I used the Craig Precision Track System, and basically show you how I did it. And then from there in the third video, it's all about the drawers, show you how to make them, show you how to install them. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so that wraps up this video. Like I said before, this is just meant to be an overview. I didn't go into too much detail because most of that has been covered in the other videos that I did. So I'm gonna include some cards up there and I'm also going to include the links down below to those videos if you wanna to refer to those. And I also wanted to mention that I was getting questions on how I made the fronts and the doors. Now, I feel like that requires a whole new video because that's gonna be on the router table and there's a lot of things to look out for. And I felt like it just wasn't in the scope of this series here. So be on the lookout for that. I will be doing that in the future. But other than that, uh, I do plan on doing sort of like an upgrade video where I do uh, maybe I'll make like a dust collection system I'll do like a dust hood vent I'll do all those things that um, right now I just feel like I don't need right now uh, and I want to test the saw out and use it more and see where the dust collects and see maybe the areas that I can improve on and then from there I'll have a better idea of, of what to do I also want to add some more storage up on the sides and also get organized here on my drawer so and the last thing i wanted to say is thanks again to delta for sponsoring this video i'm gonna include all their stuff down below and as and up here as well so you guys can check them out thank you guys for watching until the next time mm -hmm.